BioV recently released encouraging findings from a phase two trial of the Parkinson's and Alzheimer's drug. It showed it enhanced cognition in Alzheimer's patients and increased motor control in Parkinson's patients. Al Kong Dole is the president and CEO of BioV, a publicly traded biopharmaceutical company here at the NASDAQ, uh, working on treatments uh, for these various diseases. And it uh, sounds like you've got another promising study here, Al Kong. We're really excited about what we're continuing to uncover about our drug candidate, NE3.07. You know, just over the weekend, we presented some additional information at the American Diabetes Association's annual conference. But we're all the patients who are now enrolled in our phase three trial, right? That trial, of course, is now fully enrolled, and we're expecting to read out the data later on this year. And the thing that we found interesting is that at the start of the study, many of the patients that meet the same cognitive criteria, right? So they have the same CDR sum of box scores. A bunch of them were not A beta positive and a bunch were, right? So it goes to kind of show you that beta amyloid is not the only marker for Alzheimer's disease. Oh, okay. And what we found is that many of these beta amyloid negative patients had increased insulin resistance and increased inflammation. It kind of goes to the heart of what we're trying to show at BioV. It's all about inflammation. It starts with inflammation and with inflammation, you get insulin resistance and then you leads on to these cognitive declines. Wow. That is really interesting. Sometimes the process of elimination teaches you as much about how pharmaceutical works than whether it, you know, treats something or not. You can kind of learn more from just why it's not helping. Well, no, I think that's exactly the case. You know, the industry, the Alzheimer's community has been focused on beta amyloids now for mm -hmm. decades, right? But there really has not been a single drug that reduces plaques and tangles and reverse the cognitive decline in Alzheimer's, which goes to show that it alone cannot be the only factor that's leading to Alzheimer's disease. And we believe it bodes well for what we're trying to do to show the link between inflammation and insulin resistance. Yeah. Well, these current treatments are, you know, definitely provide very little improvement, if any at all. I mean, for anybody who's lived through this with a family member, we know that. So now you've raised $47.5 million in funding. You're moving on with a phase three trial of the NE3107. That could see the drug come to market next year, right? Bring us up to date on the status of that. Sure. That trial is expected to read out in October and November timeframe. We have sufficient cash to go beyond that trial. And if we get positive, strong, positive results at that time, there is a possibility that we could go to the FDA and apply for what's called accelerated approval, which is how a sized drug, uh, Lakembi, was approved, was on an accelerated basis or conditional basis while a second confirmatory study is done. So that's one thing that we are very much keeping in the back of our mind. And if that happens, we could file for approval next year and possibly launch by the end of next year, end of 2024, which is frankly just around the corner. It is. That'll be here before you know it. What impact on the healthcare industry do you think that that would have? If this drug proves in the phase three trial to be positive, like we saw in the phase two, we hope to show that the drug can reverse the cognitive decline experienced by mm -hmm. patients in with Alzheimer's. And that has just not been demonstrated by any other drug out there. And we believe we will have a dramatic impact on the economic to the payers in Alzheimer's because at the prices that we are considering, we will deliver a savings to the government and the insurance companies that will be covering for this. Well, that would be absolutely amazing and revolutionary. And Alzheimer's treatment actually totally changed everything. How can people find out more about BioV, the studies that you're undergoing? How can they follow those? Uh, the best way to find out more about our drug and our company is to go to our website, which is biovpharma.com. B-I-O-V-I-E pharma.com. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Congratulations on these positive results so far. And I look forward to these updates uh, to follow and see how this, all these trials go this year. Terrific. Thank you for having me back again, Jane. You Thanks. have a great day.